Hey y'all, it's me Ari Bell and welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are new, please subscribe and don't forget you are awesome. Uh, how it works. Well, I'm actually friends with still my, some of my friends in elementary school and middle school and high school. So, really? uh, yeah, because it's such a small town. Um, so everybody kind of like sticks together. I was never that kind of person to be like in the end crowd. Like I didn't care. I got bullied a lot because I wouldn't do, do stuff that other people will do. Or I get called loser because I won't want to like do half the other stuff. And I'm like, you know what? You can sit there and call me a loser because I don't want to go to parties. But at the end of the day, I know that I'm safe. Yeah, that so. was me too. I had a couple of friends ask me to go to a block party and go go drink whiskey and all. And I was like, no, man, I don't want to do that. What's wrong with some people? Wow. And then I had one dude that's out in the field. He asked me to smoke weed because it makes me run faster. I was like, what do you just have me to do? And then I told you I was black and you never did that. Okay, so you guys don't smoke weed, do y'all drink? No. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, it's usually like people give in to peer pressure. Especially yeah. when it comes to drugs, drinking alcohol. And it's very amazing that you guys sort of stay away from that. Yeah. Wait, the only time I'll do, like, alcohol is, like, if it's my birthday or a celebratory reasons, then I'll have, like, fruity drinks. Because I have, like, fruity beer anyway. Well, I mean, I, look, listen, okay. I drink alcohol, but I don't I'm very traumatized from one of my family members and yeah. it just reminds me to never do that. And then my uncle was unfortunately killed by someone who did drugs. So that kind of like... Yo, was he drinking and driving? No, he was handicapped so they took advantage of him. And he oh, didn't do sucks. any of that so they practically stole his money and took advantage of him. And so that stuck with me and that happened when I was 10. And that stuck with me throughout the whole high school and I have seen TV shows like what could possibly happen. And because I don't really communicate very well, so I communicate visually more than I do instead of someone just talking to me. So seeing that on a TV show versus what's going on now has what really helped me with peer pressure. So, so let me ask you guys a question. You know, because y'all talked about, you talked about, Eric, well, you don't go to parties and stuff. Mm -hmm. While well, all your other homegirls did, they probably were out having sex, doing drugs, drinking, and you kind of just didn't do that. I'm just curious, like, I mean, that that is very courageous to do that. And Sean, you're the same way, but you're a guy. You know how hard it is for guys not to give the peer pressure? Yeah. That's even twice more for the guys, too. So, I'm just curious to know, um, like, you guys were in a relationship in high school. Right? Yeah. Yes. It and was, then it carried on to the. How long have y'all been together? We've been together for nine years now. Yeah. We were on no, about nine high school. years plus. And how old are both of you? We're. I'm 27. Yeah, I'm 25. Okay, you're 25. She's 27. You know how rare that is for young people under the age of 35 alone yeah. to be in some sort of like long-term committed relationship. When y'all were in high school, and even like to this day, y'all still get pressure. From like outsiders who are like part of this pump and dump culture, or I, um, culture or like trying to say why y'all together when y'all could be yeah. out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like we yeah. we get called the R we get called um 
the art couple, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we and went somewhere to eat and that happened us the other day. Like, yeah, like one of the bullies that was working at Burger King was saying, oh look, those are the art people, ha <laughs> ha, they're still together. I'm like, meanwhile, you're back here flipping burgers and still single. I'm like, stay in your lane. <laughs> I tell my wife, you, you used to be savage for real. Like, my wife don't care. You talk smack about her, she gonna talk smack right on back. <laughs> so I told him, so meanwhile, you're back here flipping burgers and you're still single, only so stay in your lane. And he's been in and out of jail for a while. I'm like, meanwhile, he, he was the one who told me you're too are to be an actress. And I'm like, says the one who's been in and out of jail and I'm walking the red carpets. Yeah, hello. <laughs> So when you mean by hard work, I don't mean like, I don't want to feed nobody, he's basically hard work, read. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can say it, I just don't know what the YouTube rules are, so that's why I was saying the hard word. So. Oh, okay, yeah, because like everybody gets offended now, and then yeah. my channel gets a strike on it, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm yeah. just trying to set my new camera up. Damn, I'm pretty bad, I didn't know you were roasting. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you were roasting, so... Basically, you, you guys get a lot of pressure being a young couple from yeah. like, because most young, most people in general are all part of this like pumping up culture. I don't yeah. Know if you guys are familiar with that, but it's like just casual hookups, pay to play, donate to my Snapchat, go to my OnlyFans, and all this crap. And most people just seem to be doing that. Like nobody wants to date, nobody wants to be married. And here you guys go as a young, beautiful couple who started in middle school. I hope that y'all enjoy this. Don't forget you are awesome as always and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!